So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order so you guys are aware of what is leaving all of those vendors. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. Let me just straight up PSA real quick. This video is meant for newer players. Literally anything that's veteran, not, not veteran, anything that's like below veteran is for you. If you're a veteran, this video is not for you. Obviously, you already know what most of these people are selling and you most likely don't need anything that these people are selling. So again, if you are a veteran and you're about to comment, this doesn't help out a lot. It's not for you, dog. Also, these videos tend to be a little bit longer because at the end of the video, I usually take a bit of that time to talk about what I'm currently gonna be doing for the content. So most of the time, a lot of returning uh, a lot of my returning viewers will see this video and i i take that time to just talk that talk to them about what kind of content i'm making so that way they're aware of what to expect from me so that is why these videos are usually super long but i will try to cut down on the talking for each of the vendors because i do catch myself talking a little bit more than i should so i do apologize but that being said again i'm just getting kind of tired of people commenting this doesn't help me i'm a veteran and all this and it's like if you're a veteran this does not help you because it's not for you so that is why i'm mentioning this now so again appreciate y'all let's just get into it <clears throat> so before we look at 801 let's look at the fit for the video because i also get comments of oh what does that look so here is the look this is nothing crazy uh i am doing an intrepid set video for all the classes and this is the one for the arms so spoilerish i guess for the helmet, we're going to be using Graviton Forfeit with the Regal Crossroads ornament. I love this ornament. For the arms, Intrepid Discovery Grips, Limitless Subversion Vest for the chest piece, Hardened Basilisk Leg Guards, and then Limitless Subversion Cloak again, uh, or the same piece. So uh, the shaders, Dreaming Spectrum, specifically because I like this purple compared to Regal, or not Regal, uh, compared to the base look of Graviton Forfeit. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that pink or purple. This is a much better purple for me. And <clears throat> for those of you who are under, you know, I don't have hardened basilisk leg guards. You can literally switch it out for anything. I was thinking about this one for a bit to give it more of a hunter-esque look, but there's so many looks that you can, wow, I've never seen that color on Dreaming Spectrum, gross. Uh, there's some, there's a lot of chet, or boots that you could be using. Hell, you could probably use the, this blue one it, and it would look really cool. Or if you want no no plate armor, then Wildwood Strides is going to be your best choice as well. So there's definitely other uh, other pieces you could be using. The boots, uh, specifically the uh, Hardened Basilisk boots, is not something you sh you need to look or you need to use. But I just like it. So that's pretty much it. 801. So <clears throat> we have Valkyrie Zero. This is a dope shader. Definitely recommend getting this shader. So. I'm really happy I'm showcasing this armor because it shows you the different colors that this one has, specifically this light orange, this darker orange, but then you get this dark black with this dark or red, uh, red, yeah. And I think that's just amazing. This is, this is why it's one of my favorite shaders, just because uh, when you combine it with specific pieces that's just the dark black and red, it looks amazing. We have Echoes of Io Worn. This is a rare shader because I don't, I don't think the Worn set ever got sold back in the day, so. Yeah, definitely pick it up because it does give the armor a much more worn look, hence the name. But I like that because it, it feels like your character's in the universe and not just like using pretty colors where it's like, it looks like you just got a paint job today. <laughs> Specifically War Cult Scheme, you guys will notice it. Like, this looks way too clean for me to be in the universe. I feel like I need a little bit more grime. I really wish Bungie gave us the option to add like a grime level so that way the shader could look still good but like oh it looks like you've been in the universe like you looks like you've actually you know gone through muck but i like this shader definitely pick it up as for the armor sets they're all right here i'm not the biggest fan of it um <clears throat> i'm also not gonna really talk about it because i'm not again not the biggest fan of this armor specifically like if you really if you're like which ones do you do you think is good chess piece for the hunters is really good titans i think uh, like arms chest piece boots i think everything but the mark i think is decent enough to use it i just don't know if i ever would and then warlocks i only like the bond so let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up as for banshee he is selling scathe lock with surplus and rampage 
nature of the beast with under pressure and demo, the vision with <laughs> far future with auto loading holster and wellspring, and the negative space with energy transfer and whirlwind blade. So I, I skipped the vision because it has fully auto trigger system, and that's basically just a you basically just have one perk on this weapon because fully auto trigger systems already like in the game like you don't need the perk anymore so that's why i'm like whatever uh skate lock surplus and rampage just feels like nice like it feels nice but other than that i really don't care about anything that banshee is selling which is a shame i feel like god i feel like banshee needs a, like a, not a big rework i just want a little bit more like maybe down here he can be selling other stuff like because <clears throat> I feel like it's the same weapons all the time. I want more, like add two more here and then add like another thing here or right here and then have this down here. But let me know what you guys think. As for Zer, he's selling Fighting Lion Catalyst. Pretty cool. Prometheus Catalyst, I definitely recommend. Uh, Liar's Handshake, 12, 12, 10, 16, eh, whatever. Mark 44 standard sights with too much mobility and then Storm Dancers and or Storm Dancers Brace with too much mobility as well. And crucible engrams for whatever reason. Uh, okay, weird. Let's go to no, not this one. It's always this one. So for the exotics, it's gonna be Hawkmoon with Killing Wind, which is decent. Cerberus plus one, which I love this weapon. Uh, Wave Splitter, and then Wardcliff Coil. For the weapons, it's gonna be Escape Velocity with Threat Detector and Surrounded. That's decent. Those two perks go really well together. Um. And it's one of my favorite SMG uh, models, so that's also a plus. Range? Really? Okay. Uh, we have Nature of the Beast with res uh, Subsistence and Range Finder. Main Ingredient with Moving Target and High Impact Reserves. Nine Hunger with Subsistence and Rampage. Oof. Canis Major with Field Prep and Chain Reaction. Fa Sail Spy Pitch Glass with Moving Target and Swash. And then Quick Fang with Thresh and On Guard. So. I would say subsistence and rampage on the nine hunger is definitely worth a pickup. Like, that's just gonna be fun. Like, legitimately a lot of fun. So I would recommend that one for sure. Uh, for the armor sets, they're all gonna be right here. So this is the Mercury Planetary Armor from Curse of Osiris. So it is pretty old. Like, it's actually really old now that I really think about it. Hunters, I think the helmet is decent. I like the arms. I like the boots as well. The chest piece is a little bit on the boring side, but definitely still usable. And the cloak, I think, is cool. Uh, so I definitely think a lot of it is usable. It's just more of a, like, will you ever actually use it? That is the big question. Uh, Titans. <clears throat> Let me see what you guys... What the hell did I get in Endgame? Oh, did I get armor from the raid? I did. Oh, wow. I don't remember that. Um... Titans. Let me see. Titans, Titans, Titans. What's over here? Okay, so the helmet. I could definitely see myself using. I like the arms. I don't like the chest piece. I don't like the boots either. And I don't like the mark either. So, Warlocks. I don't like all of it. Like, at all. Like, I don't think any of it, any of it is good at all. But, I mean, more power to you if you like it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the classes. I definitely think... There's some pieces you should pick up, and for me personally, I would just tell you pick it all up because you might never know when like a, a piece looks really, really cool. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Zer. I was expecting to be here a little bit longer, but there's not a lot of things that I'm like, oh, aside from like these two catalysts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for Eververse, we have Amethyst Bloom. Not a fan of this one. Uh, Lucid, I love this shader. This is one of my favorite shaders. Like currently just because it goes really well with hive themed pieces it just looks amazing uh we have intrepid discovery mask so for those of you who are interested i will be making a video of the intrepid armor stuff specifically the review the shader plus the three class specific videos i'm already done i just need to edit them put the voiceover and then i'll be done so expect a video from this expect a video from this soon ish because i just got paid and i'm probably going to get all the armor so that way i can do the armor review uh it's just the fact that i have a lot of armor reviews to do which is why i'm taking a lot longer than usual um hold on <clears throat> shadow boxing and then we have blissful ignorance for whatever the shotgun's names like fell Fel winters lie I would recommend this this ornament. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite ornaments just because it looks cool. That being said, it's 
it's weird when you aim down sights on it, but that's just... It's just me being weird more than anything else. Uh, Cordyception? Cordyception? I don't know how to say this properly. Oh, wow! All of it changes color. That looks like something out of Death Stranding Dog. Um, prototype Submersible. We have Skitter Shell. Come at me. Experimental mishap. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have or or orary entrance. Orary or I can't say that clearly. Uh, chrysalis entrance. We have Minotaur effects. And then for the shaders, Groovadelic, which is a new shader from this season. Boreal Char. Grayscale Undergrowth. And then Reef Made. <clears throat> so that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. This is the end of the video. This portion is just going to be me explaining some of the videos that you can expect from me. First and foremost, uh, a lot of armor videos so i was not lying when i say i'm doing a lot of armor videos the first one we're going to be doing well intrepid set will most likely be the first one maybe or i'll have it uh this one with the uh siege breaker armor set because that's also being sold and i think that one should take priority because they're selling this in eververse right now which i didn't even talk about but yeah let me see right here so we're going to be talking about this armor set because they're selling it and this hasn't been available since season season of the arrivals which is a while ago so yeah we're going to be doing a video on this this most likely will be the first one because you only have three weeks to get this armor and then it'll be gone for however long it'll be gone i don't know um so yeah this is already done plus like all of the videos the review video the shader video plus the class specific videos those are already done and edited I just need to do the voiceover today, but the other videos is going to be the armor video specifically for the intrepid stuff. This is already not already done, but it's recorded. I just need to edit it so that way I can do the voiceover for it. Um, and then we're going to be doing the the new playlist armor eventually. I just need to get all of the armor. I don't I'm still not sure if I should do all of all of the armor. To be fair, I probably should. But at the same time, it's the same armor this is the same armor from the gambit set that and the pvp set so they're all the same armor it's the typical playlist armor that you should expect from the cinder pinion clutch extol it's the same thing same armor so what i might do and i think i've spent i've said this before but i'm probably going to have hunters get the pvp set tight or warlocks you're going to get the gambit set right here and then titans you're probably going to get the uh the uh, vanguard set so that way you guys can see the armor sets but it'll be different it's literally just the same armor but just different uh, engravings i guess you would say um not only that we're gonna be doing the review video for the seasonal ornaments because i'm almost close to getting those as well i just need 20 more levels so yeah 20 more levels because i'm almost done with 70 or 80 i should say so this one's gonna be rough and not only that, we're also going to be reviewing this armor or this helmet when it comes out. Uh, this one right here, because it's a universal ornament for all the classes, which I think is cool. Not only that, we're also going to be working on the D&D &D armor set, which I probably will get soon because I did just get paid. I will most, most likely be getting this helmet because, again, universal ornament. I think it's cool. I want to talk about it. And I might pick up the shaders. We'll see. But yeah, I have a lot of stuff planned. And that's just armor sets. We're not even talking about the new exotics that all the classes got. We just finished the Gifted Conviction. So that video is already out. And I'm currently working on Balance of Power. But then I also am working on the other classes as well. Specifically Titans and Warlocks. Titans, you already have your videos recorded. Warlocks, I still need to record your videos. And then after that yeah we'll see what i do man i have i still have a lot to plan it's ridiculous but i really do appreciate you guys coming up to this point again this portion is just to 
keep you up to date with what I'm doing. I might start doing these weekly with uh, with the last call videos, make it a separate video so that way the last call videos aren't so long because I do think people or I do know people don't like the videos being super long. But that's why I do timestamps so that way you guys can just go to the ones you want to go to. So that's also just a weird complaint when I get it. it's like, oh, it's too long. It's like, I have timestamps like I literally have timestamps so that you guys can go to where you guys want to go and just leave. So I don't know why you guys are bitching. So I don't know. Whatever. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.